Lesson 4.2.1 Creating and Interpreting Frequency Distribution In this video we will organize data sets into two-way frequency tables. Did you know that tigers are the largest cat species in the world reaching up to almost 11 feet long and 670 pounds? All right, we're going to start off with some vocabulary. Uh, the first piece of vocabulary that we're going to do is categorical data. Categorical data are data that can be grouped into categories. The second vocabulary word we're going to do is a two-way frequency table. Two-way frequency tables are tables used to organize categorical data by the number of occurrences that fall to each group two variables. Frequency distribution displays the frequency for categorical data in a two-way table. That should be four. Joint frequency is joint frequency are freq the frequencies you record within the body of a two-way frequency table. In other, in other words, the numbers. So again, joint frequency are the frequency you record in the body of the two-way table. And the last one for today is marginal frequency distribution. Marginal frequency distribution displays the total of the frequencies in the rows or columns of the frequency distribution. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on the second tab at the bottom labeled example one favorite color. And we are going to go ahead and create a two way frequency table that goes with the data that is on the right over here. So we're going to look for um, a blue my suggestion is to just put a little mark next to it so like this is a blue that's an a blue that's an a blue so there are three of them and so in the box I'm gonna type a three and then you're gonna do the same thing with a and green so and get rid of the old ones in there Actually, you know, let's just do this. I'm going to leave the old ones there. I'll use a different letter. So, A green. A red, A blue, A blue, A green. So, let's go with Y. A red, A purple, A red. Okay, so there's one A green. You'll notice that when you type in the numbers into the table, they automatically fill into the second table in the spots where they belong. Okay? It's already set to do that. As long as you don't met to, uh, delete stuff, it'll continue to do that with all your um, data. That way you're not having to type it twice. Um, now we're looking for A and purple. 
Okay, used X for that. Looks like there's only one A purple. Then we'll go with red, A red. So X, uh, let's go V. Okay, there's one, two, three, four. Four of those. And we're going to continue to do this till we fill out the rest of the table. So go ahead and fill the, do the rest of it, get B done, and then you can check and see um, if you got what I have. Okay, so hopefully purple one. Purple was three. So hopefully you got four blue, three green, three purple, and three red in column or in row B. So that's how you make a two-way frequency table. So what I'd like you to do now is go to tab, the next tab over, the one that says example two favorite sports to watch. And I want you to fill in all the blanks. You're going to first have to fill in the green boxes which come from the table. So like 11th grade and 12th grade. And you'll notice as you fill it in the second table will also fill in the values. And then across the top you're going to have to put um, Football, baseball, and basketball. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and do like we did in the last uh, problem and go ahead and count up how many of each and fill in the boxes. So go ahead and do that now. So hopefully you got that there are three 11th graders that like football, three 11th graders that like baseball, and three four 11th graders that like basketball. And for the 12th graders, six that like football, two that like baseball, and two that like basketball. And that's how we do a two-way frequency table. And in the next video, we'll talk about marginal frequency distribution.